All right, y'all, we're back, and you know, in the last part, I said part five. I said this is part five, but this is actually currently part five. That was part four. And you know where we left off. Oh, lady. Oh, lady was calling my name. So let's see. Let's go meet up with... I forgot her name. Let's go meet up with... But before that, priorities first. We gotta go to class. We gotta go to class, man. I'm a scholar. I'm gonna learn spells. Okay, we don't got that. We'll go here. I wish I was a metamorphic. Ugh. What am I? I'm not doing a side quest right now. We got two main quests to do. And then we got. We got dueling again, most likely. Oh, that smell. She grows Ocean class. Onion again. Let's see what this is about. What in the hell? Bastion, hey. Good morning, Professor Garland. Who's Sebastian now? He's a G. He's a G. Oh, see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, Grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh. If you're saying grip, man, and tug, you gotta say balls, oh, bro. What in the fuck? What is this? What is it? What is it? Squish it. Step on it. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair us. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Oh yeah, I just remember something. I took it. It not be that much of a difference. Emily promised to help us start. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. What's the point of this Actually, class? I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my staff this arrangement. Right. 
This needs restorative Simple properties enough. make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay, we only got one seed. Takes ten minutes. Yield five. Wigan Will Potion. He's using well the Wigan Will Potion. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wigan Will Potion. So we're gonna come here to grow potions. I'll let Professor basically. Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay, well... So I guess we're waiting on that. The wooden wood potion is that normal health potions? Is it? If it is, I need that because I'm out of those. I don't even know why I would check that. But whatever. We'll see it in ten minutes. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well. Big step. Thank you. Biggest. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have yeah, if Hecate good. hadn't stopped me. I'm just still in place. Are. Home of the Chinese. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> Just mind your things. I almost lost a thumb once. No, they need to put it back on. Trust me. Instead, you do not want to go through that. Quick little combo. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Oh. Oh, does it go in the LB slot? Oh. Invisibility potion. J. Pimpin's potions. J. Pimpin, he got a lot of potions apparently. What the hell does a mandrake do? Okay. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. What? <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. Mm. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. What you mean by that? You just gonna say that and walk off? Bro, I've been looking everywhere for the gas. Come on. I think he was talking about that gas. That pressure, that skunk, that cat piss. A reminder as to why we should Queen. always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. 
and good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. <laughs> Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. <sighs> what do we got now? That was our biology class. Now I think it's time to meet up. Potions. Got another class. Let's go to class. Let's do it. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. This one is downstairs. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident? Professor Black would never allow that. Oh, here we are. Make him look completely incompetent, which he is. So, we learn where to grow stuff for the potions. I guess we're about to learn to make them. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why potion. this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Let's see what we got. Pretty simple. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear Very of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping you know, me home luck. from school this year after the rumors oh, of yeah, a Oh yeah, we meet up at the class. Yeah, we meet up at the class. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you, you were to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. 
Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. Okay. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Wait. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. I meant, to, I meant to say, yeah. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Big slither and big snake, big slime. Remember. <sighs> Bro, that thing sticks out like a sore thumb. He knows he's gonna be missing it. Rebellion. Oh yeah. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Bro! Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take no a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, just, and I'll tell you when the this concoction's finished. It's a habit of me talking over the cussings. I need to stop that. But anyway, dude, just like it's should the Fupa feather. He just rod, just wrong answer, like it's like it's no problem. Ashwinder eggs, mongrel fur, mongrel fur. Look that up. Thirty seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Again. Oh. It's dumb, man. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Teacher didn't even notice. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do Orc this on his own. Did to me leaves. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh my God! See, look, if he figures out it's me, I'm gonna be mad. I brewed an Adorus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest Bro, I you care. heed my warning. I'm gonna fuck about As for the work you did today with your you. own cauldron, I will. You know who I am? Motherfucking big well. step. I confess the I was biggest. skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Yes, if it's off. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. Let's get back to it. So we just got in trouble. Who cares? Fuck school. Never cared. Ugh. Ugh. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of the Now it's time. Time to go meet up with the shorty. Big stepper, big stepper, big stepper. What are you up to now? Transfiguration. Man, I love the movement. 
pretty damn fast. Now we about to be heading out of Hogwarts. We leaving to finally go somewhere that's not Hogsmeade and not Hogwarts, bro. It's gonna be cool. Flying class long. Oh man. When am I gonna take that class? need to learn the lockpick already, bro. Now we are, I think we're off of Hogwarts grounds now. Heading out into the wild. Out into the open world, man. Look at this. It's really a Harry Potter game we're playing. This is crazy. Down low. Ooh. Harvesting all the materials I see, man. They're gonna come in handy. We need a broom. That's what will really come in handy. And ain't I supposed to have a mount? I got the deluxe edition. I guess we gotta wait until we learn to ride that. I don't know, man. Hopefully soon. I'm gonna remember that. I'm tired of them damn flowers mocking me. Bro, he falls on the little list of jumps. Come on. What is this spot? Give me go, give me go. Give me go, give me go. You can go through every door. Rebellion. That's still a Hogwarts field guide page, so we're still in Hogwarts area. What is this cave? I should investigate. Yeah, we should investigate. Oh. I had to guess. This goes here. But maybe we need to spell Leviosa. Leviosa! I'm assuming we do. Oh, look at that. It has a fire symbol on it. Incendio. Damn. I don't think we can move it. Not skilled enough. Now we know we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, we can swim. It's good me. to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? Friend? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranulph and again. Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm yeah, aware at the moment. Thought the big we step was getting somewhere, bro. Time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why you they were not. Busted anyway, I don't care. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. Wait, I told I another person the secret. Oh the my god. Our carriage. What on earth? There's one more I didn't thing. even mean to. I just be it's pressing a buttons, bro. I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful a form of ancient what magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. 
to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. All right. Handy resource indeed. Your Let's see what we got over here. We got a whole bunch of treasure chests on treasure chest What's on the map. What's going on here? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Oh, Leave shit. her alone. Stupid man! Damn. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh watch the light go out of your eyes. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Show the heck. Stop. Wait, wait, pause. Enemies. They're vulnerable. They've not mastered when uh, shield charm, so they're vulnerable to all sorts of attacks. Among the quicker of Rookwood's agents, these witches will surprise their opponents with back to back attacks. Powerful reductive curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one their own game. I don't think I have the charm needed for that. Damn. Bro. Got me panicking. Shit. What do I do against this chick? There we go. Simple. been accosted in such a manner Ooh. and so close to Hogwarts literally Hogwarts right there are you all right I am thanks in no I small no part to, to do excellent against that defensive red skills 
Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Okay. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. Slytherin. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles Ixnate. and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell. And we'll see what happens. My word! Did oh, you shit. see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Accio. I'm curious about these pyres. Incendio! Yeah. The flames make the pyre sink. Incendio! Oh. Curious. The pyres are back where they ah, started. Timing. Very quick. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Right, that's Such good to know. a pleasure to meet you.
And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right, I'll return to these treasure chests. Rebellion. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. All right. I'll lock behind the house. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old that thing you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. Marketplace. Let's see. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. Ocean. I can answer any questions you have about the town. No questions. What do you have for sale? What you got? What can I help you with today? Wait, I need these. Damn it. I need them, ah, yes. bro. I need them. A wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Okay, I just got a legendary cloak earlier. Let me see. Finally some headwear. I'm gonna switch appearance on this. Oh yeah, let me put on the correct clothes. Put on some low level stuff. Oh no, that was the highest level I had actually. Now we got a newer one. I kind of like this fit, bro. I like this fit. But no, I like this fit even more. I'm going to switch out the dark art stuff. Dark art robe goes best with this. Well, let's just switch it to no robe. Then for the gloves. I like wearing gloves. Just go with the simple black leather gloves, man. Why not? That fit is fire. Okay, now we got some challenges to collect. Nope. Alright, let's move on. Now we gotta go to the courtyard. I'm pretty sure we can just teleport. A couple side missions in the area, but we might come back for those. Maybe. Let's go ahead and let's do yeah, let's do this. We get a new spell. And I know we have some plants waiting on us. Let's go and scoop those up as well. There's 150 fill guide pages in Hogwarts. What? Oh yeah, Hogwarts map. Here we go. Where would the potion class be? Or the, what's it called? The class with the plants.
Okay. Oh, to do the quest, I need to avoid enemy attacks and cast a Cindio. Scrope knows about the book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge. I'm on the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Scrope? Who is Scrope? I didn't even mean to do this. But we might just go ahead with it. So for this, we just got to keep on playing and then we'll be able to do it soon enough. All right, let's keep on with the main missions. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Let me go. Scarecrows in the wizarding world really scared. That's crazy. Let's see. Revelio. Down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. Shit, it's the thing. This is it. <coughs> Thank you for coming is. all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you injure your ear? 
The blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. God it damn. seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. All right. I think I'm going to cap up part five right there, man. We're going to go into the grotto next part, man. Stay tuned. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Deuces.